Hi there, my name is Andy from the band Battle Line. What are you laughing at, Natasha? I'm smiling. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, I just want to let you all know, uh, I'm going to give you a complete, completely, brutally honest review of the Extreme Tour. Um, we are not like most bands that you would think of in, in how we were selected you know, we were not, uh, we did not have any sort of favoritism thrown our way or anything like that. It was, we tried one year, we were rejected. We tried a second year, rejected. Um, the third year, we, I mean, we, and we kept getting those emails that I'm sure a lot of you all are getting and keep reading about it. We're interested in all this stuff, apply, reapply talked to Ted and I was frustrated and all all of that stuff um, and again rejected so I mean we were heartbroken the first time second and third time we were frustrated and I'm sure that a lot of you go through have went through very similar things but here's where things uh, changed last summer we were out on our own tour uh, playing with several other bands and at the end of that tour we got an email uh, from the Extreme Tour and they needed some bands to fill out some dates so we jumped at the chance and we drove down to Florida um, and I can tell you it was in a nutshell it was the most amazing experience we've ever been a part of musically um, there are so many things that you may th think you know about the Extreme Tour, but you don't know anything about the Extreme Tour. I mean, <laughs> your normal concept of what a uh, a tour a tour actually is, and a, and and dates of you know performance string of performances and what they are, it's nothing like what the Extreme Tour is. You're used to. Um, you know, leaving out several hours ahead of time before a gig and uh, you get to that place, you set up your musical gear, you meet some people, go out and play your show. Um, there might be a speaker, maybe not. At the end of that show, you, uh, you either just mingle with the people, you know, you're tearing down your equipment, you know, and, and at the end of the night, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you keep in touch with a few of the people after the show and stuff online, but that's kind of, that's what you've been doing. And I mean, I know that's what we've been doing, and that's what the majority of the bands that we know have been doing their their whole lives out there. With the Extreme Tour, it's, it's completely different. You need to stop thinking of yourself as just a band. Um, they really, they really make you see yourself as a missionary first and a, a musician second um, there are a lot of there are a lot of things that most bands are afraid of when they hit that uh, that that tour um, they're afraid of well there's so many bands on here how am I how, how am I going to make money uh, I've got to have money to put in the, the vehicle they're not taking care of any of that stuff so how are we going to make it you're probably worried a little bit about food um, maybe shelter, things like that. I can tell you, as part of the tour, we never, we never went without. Uh, in fact, we gained weight on tour. I gained 15 pounds. Yeah, we, we gained weight. So, um, as far as shelter, now, we, God blessed us with a $350 RV, if you can imagine what that kind of thing drove like. Um, but... Even at the end of the, the tour, when we couldn't drive the, the vehicle any longer, um, we, we were put up in a church, and we had, we, our shelter was taken care of, and they're going to take care of you guys as well. They're not going to leave anybody stranded. And <coughs> our, um, our vehicle broke down like four, probably, I think it was four times. Mm -hmm. I mean, set us back thousands of dollars I'm not playing thousands of dollars we didn't have that type of money 
Well, that that and you know, truthfully, the tour didn't give us that money. Who, so who who gave it to us? God gave us that money. There people walked up to us and literally just poured out, and we never once asked for it. Um, God took care of every single need that we had, but we made that commitment that we were going to put ourselves aside and let God dictate what we did. We were true servants and tried to, tried to put everything aside. Now that that's not to put myself on the pedestal. Nope, no sir. Because when I first got there, I uh, I got I want to share the story with you. When I first got there, our first date was at a homeless shelter. I it was I was hot. I was tired. Um, it was I was sweaty. Just we had no air conditioning. Um, the conditions just were not not pleasant, and I really wanted to take a shower. So I was waiting, and the lady said, "You can go right after. You can go right after these two guys are done." I was like, "Yes, all right." So I'm waiting, and then those two guys got out, or one of them got out, and I was ready to go into the shower. And then two more people came up behind me. And at the time, again, I didn't. It really didn't sink in. These guys are homeless, but at the time, these two guys just showed up, and then now she was going to make me wait an additional bit of time while these two guys went in to take a shower. You have to understand the condition. It's Florida. It's hot. No air conditioning. So I'm, you know, I'm thinking, oh, we should be treated better than this. This is ridiculous and all this stuff. And, and God set me down in that moment and said, look, Andy, when you applied to be on this tour, you said some stuff. said, uh, they they made us fill out a five year plan and a one year plan and a three year plan and all that stuff. And my plan was, be humble, and and my five year plan be humble, three year plan be humble. And so here I am, and God's making me eat that, you know, be humble. So we we had to. I had no other choice. God told me you have to be humble. You have to put aside yourself and serve others and when we finally when we finally like really let that sink in that hey we're not here for battle lion we're not here to continue our musical careers we're not here to make a dollar we're here to spread the word of god when we let that really sink in and when you you know you, when you're on something like this it's you push comes to uh, to shove. You'll see whether or not you're willing to really make that sacrifice. And you know, once we did, it was like we saw an outpouring of blessing, 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 and not money, not money through yes, through financial reward, but salvation. Just seeing people's lives change over and over every single night. And the best part was. Being part of a team where you could, it was like everybody was a big tool. It was like you were a, a human toolbox. You could see a person and you could tell that, yes, um, like uh, I could be, we could be speaking to them and yes, you know that they're lost, but what, what do they like? Well, they like rap. So we, could, we were able to pull in a rap artist and that person was able to talk to them and make, us, make a connection there. And, and so, so many lives changed through having the variety of artists that we had on the tour. And um, so I'm just saying, guys, we were probably in a lot of those same shoes that you all are in right now where you feel like maybe if you've been, ever been rejected by the tour that, you know, you're hurt by it and all that stuff. And you, and you wonder... You know how the whole scheme is set up. You know, is it? You know, cause you know if you don't know, you know sometimes it truthfully it kind of looks shady. I mean, it's brut I'm being brutally honest, but I'm telling you, I'm asking you trust, trust in God, and and give these guys a chance because they they do have they do have a tremendous heart for the Lord, and and we we want to be back on that tour so bad it's really changed our entire lives to the point where we want to know how we can we want 
we are we want to make that us uh, that leap to where we're doing this full time and you know what God truth me on this tour God told us you can do this full time you can do this this is what I've asked of you do it you know and he's and he's showing us time and time again to do it the only thing holding us back at this point is us okay because and, and of my own fear of our own fear if you're sitting there and you're afraid of going out on the extreme tour because because you're afraid that you're going to have to compete with seven other bands for somebody's dollar you, you need to reconsider because it's not about somebody's dollar okay if you're if you're not going to do God's work because you're afraid you're not going to make somebody's dollar you need to reevaluate why you're even in this ministry you need to go out there and do what God has called you to do if he's calling you to do this and to apply and they see that and you make that connection with them it, it'll it's going to be awesome God will reward you he'll keep you going okay I we we're blown away by how he's been able to keep the families that are on that extreme tour we've made friendships that I know are going to last a lifetime now on that tour so I was going to give you a brutally honest it is brutally honest and um, I want just let just consider it and um, it's been a really awesome tour and say bye now bye bye <laughs>